The golf is not named after the game, which is understandable when you think of the polo. Instead, the name comes from the German word for the golf stream. The rest of the VW lineup at the time followed suit, with the Sirocco, Jetta, and Passat all having the same name. Another common misconception is that VW's Beetle is its best-selling model. This is also incorrect. By 2007, the Golf had sold more than 25 million units, making it the third best-selling vehicle worldwide. The MK1 Golf, designed by Gigiaro and codenamed TYP17, was set to be Volkswagen's replacement for the storied Beetle when it was officially introduced in May 1974. However, the Golf wasn't VW's first attempt to replace the Beetle. All of its predecessors had failed to reach the production figures set by the Beetle. This time, however, the two designs couldn't have been more different. While the Beetle had a traditional two-piece chassis and body, the Golf had a monocoque design, which meant that the body and chassis were one. While the Golf utilized McPherson struts, as designed by Earl S. McPherson, Chevrolet's head of engineering in the late 1940s, the Beetle's suspension was fairly basic and revolved around a beam axle at the front. The Golf had a one-of-a-kind independent rear suspension with trailing arms. On the other hand, the Beetle used a swing axle, which was later replaced by a type of independent rear unit. As far as impetus, the Bug had used an air-cooled level 4 mounted in the back of the vehicle, hung off the gearbox, behind the hub driving the back tires, on the other hand, the Golf utilized a water-cooled inline four chamber, dynamically mounted in front of the front hub, driving the front wheels. This design made the most of the space that was created within the car's footprint. When compared to the Beetle and the rest of the Golf's competitors, the passenger compartment was surprisingly roomy. It also had a lot more room for luggage, and the rear seats could be folded down to extend the cabin even further. If at any point a vehicle was going to the follow on the tradition of the Scarab, the little Golf was surely good to go for it. One critical component anyway continued as before between the two vehicles, considering the technology of the time, both cars' design, layout, and theory were as efficient as they could be. This is demonstrated by the fact that, for decades after the Golf's introduction, when the Golf was in its fourth iteration, the Beetle remained largely unchanged in production. VW unveiled the MK1 Sirocco to the public six months before the Golf was released. Originally designed to replace the Carmen Ghia, which makes sense considering the relationship between the Beetle and Ghia, then the Golf and Sirocco, the car was definitely based on the Golf but had been significantly re-engineered to provide a driving experience that was more sporty and satisfying. Before releasing the Golf to a market that might not have been as understanding as the Sirocco owner, VW used the Sirocco as a guinea pig to observe and respond to any potential problems that might arise during the first few months of production. The Sirocco was intended to be constructed at Carmen's factory in Osnabrück, despite the fact that Italian Giugiaro also sketched it out. In the original 1978 version of George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, the car was a big hit on the big screen. The smooth bonnets and distinctive swallowtail rear panels of the earliest Golf set them apart. These panels dip down below the license plate. These early models are now in high demand and will undoubtedly become the Golf's oval window beetle. The Golf was awarded the title of Car of the Year by Wheels magazine in 1975. With its lightweight, exact directing, 
and certainty motivating street habits the new little VW before long set norms for what a little vehicle ought to be like. This joined with the reality it was distinctly estimated prompted deals far surpassing that of VW's assumptions, persuading even the most wary that here was a vehicle that would have been the substitution for the respected scarab. Who could have foreseen the worldwide success and the plethora of imitations that a few engineers working after hours could have produced? While the possibility of a lively cantina was not really another one, with both portage and wind beforehand having a go at making an energetic reasonable vehicle with the Lotus Cortina, RS Escorts and Dolomite run individually, it took Volkswagen to transform it into a genuine achievement. In fact, it was the automobile that originated the term hot hatch. The original 1,471 cubic centimeters engine was bored out from 76.5 millimeters to 79.55 millimeters, producing a 1,588 cubic centimeters engine that had been developed for the Audi 80 GT rather conveniently. Fueled by a twin choke Solex carb, the engine produced 100 brake horsepower. The Sport Golf, as it was known at the time, was created as an afterwork project by a few senior engineers at Volkswagen. A new clutch with a larger diameter was installed, gear ratios were improved, vented front disc brakes and a servo with a larger diameter were added, Ride height was reduced by 20 millimeters compared to the standard car, and new steel wheels with a wider diameter, 5.5 inches, were wrapped in 175 section tires. In May 1975 endorsement was conceded to create 5,000 units, the base expected for contending underway motorsport. The Sport Golf was given a new name, the Golf GTI, and it was equipped with Bosch Cagetronic fuel injection, which had been taken from the USDM Audi 80. Ironically, this system was used to increase power and performance rather than control emissions or save gas. Although it is undeniable that the GT is a reference to Gran Tourer or Gran Turismo, the German word for injection, Einspritzung would result in the GTE, a term that Audi and later Vauxhall slash Opel had already coined. Some people suggest that VW wanted to be different and used GTI because Audi had already chosen the GTE moniker. Others suggest that it was based on the Italian Gran Turismo in Ezione, in reference to the original designer of the Golf. The 827 engine needed more cooling because it had 110 horsepower, but this wasn't a problem because a beetle oil cooler was stuck on top of the gearbox.